Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic this morning is African Americans in public education. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about African Americans in public education, uh, Dr. James Baxter, uh, formerly from uh, Tennessee State University's Department of History, and I think uh, now working at Hillsboro uh, High School uh, in the uh, History Department. And of course, uh, Dr. Baxter, let me uh, thank you for coming by and uh, agreeing to uh, meet with us and to talk about what we consider to be a very, very important topic, and that is uh, African Americans in public uh, education in a real sense. And uh, before we get into that, let's talk about one specific African American uh, that has been involved in mm -hmm. public education for mm -hmm. the longest uh, by the name of James Baxter okay. and have him to give us some information about his background, his uh, education, mm -hmm. and some of the things that eventually led you, as we said, from Tennessee State University eventually okay. to Hit Pillsburg, Hillsborough and eventually to me again for uh, uh, many, many times again. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about it from that perspective, Dr. Baxter. Thank you, Dr. Haney, and I always counted joy to be in your presence. Uh, as you stated, my name is James Baxter. I am the son, the bouncing baby boy, of the late George William Baxter and the late Venus Valda White Baxter. I'm a native of Nashville, Tennessee, a North Nashville to be exact. I am, the gr I am a graduate of North Nashville High School, uh, a graduate of Lane College in Jackson, Tennessee, I hold the MS or the Master of Science degree, mm -hmm. and I hold the Doctor of Education, mm -hmm. sometimes referred to as the EDD mm -hmm. degree, from that flagship university, mm -hmm. 3500 John Merritt Drive, mm -hmm. Tennessee State mm -hmm. University. Mm -hmm. Very good. My mom and dad had seven children. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm the baby boy of the family. Mm -hmm. I'm the only son, or the only child mm -hmm. to receive a high school diploma. Mm -hmm the only child to receive a, a, a bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. a master's degree, and a doctoral mm -hmm. degree. Mm -hmm. My mom was a maid. Mm -hmm. My dad mm -hmm. died when I was four years old. Mm -hmm. My mom was a maid by day mm -hmm. in private homes, Bellevue, Green Hills, other affluent areas mm -hmm. of, of Nashville. And at night, she worked as a maid at the Hermitage Hotel. Mm -hmm. Her ultimate prayer mm -hmm. to her God is that one of her children mm -hmm. would at least receive a high school diploma. Mm -hmm. But God looked beyond all of my oh, faults. Right. Mm -hmm. He looked beyond our economic situation mm -hmm. and look at what he has done. Mm -hmm. Not only do I have a high school diploma, I mm -hmm. went on and excelled and received mm -hmm. the doctoral de degree. Mm -hmm. I believe, Dr. Haney, to whom much is given, mm -hmm. much is required. Uh, I'm a product of separate but equal schools mm -hmm. in that uh, during the formative years mm -hmm. in elementary uh, school, I attended mm -hmm. uh, the colored school. Okay. It was when I went to high school. Nashville incorporated what they called the Nashville plan, mm -hmm. and schools were integrated each year mm -hmm. per year. Mm -hmm. But I do remember the colored school, mm -hmm. the Negro school. Mm -hmm. I do remember how my mom would line up seven children mm -hmm. and she would fix us an egg sandwich, mm -hmm. a sugar sandwich, okay. wrap them up in newspaper, mm -hmm. place them down into a paper brown bag. Mm -hmm. And she would kiss each child as she sent us off to school. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we had holes in our shoes. Mm -hmm. She had to cut the cardboard box <laughs> and make and make the uh, and make I a understand. sole and stick it down <clears throat> in the I've shoe. I've seen that before. We had to wait mm -hmm. on on clothing to be handed down. Mm -hmm. I remember the segregated city bus here mm -hmm. in the old city of Nashville. Mm -hmm. Mom would pay our fare. Then she would step off the front of the bus and march us to the rear like toy soldiers, mm -hmm. and we would sit in the colored section of the bus. Mm -hmm. I remember when we would go to town the first of the month, our favorite hamburger was the Crystal Burger. Mm -hmm. But because we were colored or Negroes, we had to go to the back door, mm -hmm. and Mom would, would place her order. Uh, and then when she paid for the order and she got the 
the crystal burgers. Mm -hmm. We would eat the burgers behind the crystal as we jumped up and down because we thought we had died mm -hmm. and gone mm -hmm. to gone heaven. To heaven. <laughs> because we had to wait till the first of the mm -hmm. month when that Social Security That's check right. came okay. to get that crystal burger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm also a veteran. I served in the United States Army of America. Mm -hmm. I discharged honorably. I served at Fort Knox, Kentucky, mm -hmm. Fort Seal, Oklahoma, the 101st Airborne Division, and yes, I served 14 months mm -hmm. in Europe. Mm -hmm. I served this country three years, mm -hmm. 19 days, and if I had to go to Iraq or Afghanistan right now, mm -hmm. I would do it again because this is the best and the sweetest country on the face of the earth, mm -hmm. and I join in that patriotic song, mm -hmm. God have blessed, blessed. and mm -hmm. continues to, to bless, bless America. 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 And I appreciate that, all of that information there, that's yes. part of your background, Very uh, good. Uh, Dr. Baxter. And when we come back during the second segment, we're going to talk about African Americans in public education. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short second segment of the show for today.